from VOA Learning English. This is the Health Report. Mental health experts often use a treatment called prolonged exposure therapy to help soldiers returning from battle. In prolonged exposure therapy, or PET, patients are asked to remember painful incidents and talk about their feelings. They repeat this process until these memories no longer make them suffer. PET can help soldiers who suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. They developed emotional problems because of experiences in battle. PTSD is not limited to soldiers. It is also seen in young women who were sexually abused or raped when they were children. Edna Foa of the University of Pennsylvania helped to develop prolonged exposure therapy to treat PTSD. She believes the treatment can offer such girls a cure that lasts longer than what she calls supportive counseling. She says PET gives them the skills they need to face the memories of their abuse. Her research team compared prolonged exposure therapy to supportive counseling in a group of 60 sexually abused girls. All the girls suffered from PTSD and were 13 to 18 years old. Each girl saw a trained therapist 14 times. Some received PET, the others were given supportive counseling. Dr. Foa says girls treated with PET experienced fewer symptoms and were less likely to suffer from depression than the other girls. They also showed more improvement in quality of life measurements. Dr. Foa says most of the girls treated with PET were thought to be free of PTSD. She adds that social workers can be trained in PET in just four days. A report on the study was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. For VOA Learning English, I'm Laurel Bowman.